I've got two packages today. I have one of them that I bought for, I think it was $100 from Torpedo Comics. Other one was some comics that I picked up from a fellow YouTuber, Wink Inc. And I picked up, I think it was three comics from one of his mystery boxes he opened up just very recently. So actually I'm gonna do this one first. We will save this mystery box I purchased for hundred bucks after this one. So I'll make sure you have a direct link down below to Wink Inc. If you want to just search for him, Wink Inc. is spelled, what is it, W-1-N-K-I-N-C. Pretty sure that's how he spells the Wink Inc. But I'll make sure and direct link down below his YouTube channel. Check it out. He does mystery boxes, comic books, Funko Pops. Um, he does a lot of good videos. So if you're into watching the mystery boxes and stuff like that, you will enjoy his channel quite a bit. So yeah, I've actually... Uh, I actually watch him quite often, and uh, I've actually have found some new mystery box companies by watching his channel. So yeah, huge shout out. Check out his channel. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. And yeah, here we go. We got some stickers again. Wink Ink Boardroom is certified. Very cool. Yeah, so it is W1NKINC for the Wink Ink. So very cool. So let's see. Um, I remember, I think I remember, I think there's three in here that I purchased from them for a pretty fair price, uh, shipped out the door. Ones that I wanted for my own collection. So pretty excited to get these, check them out. Fantastic packaging and very easy to open up, so I appreciate that. Oh, here we go. Let's see which ones I picked up. Yep, total three of them. First one is, yeah, Baby Teeth number one. This one has recently been kind of like a hot topic amongst the comic book community. Um, talk of, you know, being option, maybe a TV show. We'll see what happens. But uh, I was looking to pick up Baby Teeth number one. I saw Alex get it in a video of his in a mystery box. And I said, hey, let me buy it off of you if you want to sell it. So actually, I think he already had this one. So he was happy to sell it to me. And next one I got, same thing. This is a Sweetheart number one. This is, I think, the variant B cover. Um, this one, I think, I think this one was either option or I, I speculate it might be optioned. I can't remember which way it was, but either way, this cover is freaking awesome. And uh, I was happy to pick up Sweetheart number one off of Alex for a very fair price. And the last one I got that he got in a mystery box. Actually, it's in pretty good shape. Just uh, two or three small spine ticks in it. It's in fantastic. At least the cover is in fantastic shape. We've got X-Factor number six. This is the first appearance of Apocalypse. Cool, cool cover. Iconic cover. But yeah, I wanted to get this for my collection. Very happy with that pickup from uh, Alex over at Winking. So like I said earlier, check out his YouTube channel. He does lots of mystery boxes, comic, Funko Pops, collectibles. I enjoy his channel, and uh, if you like just mystery boxes and collectible kind of content, you'll enjoy his channel, so make sure, check him out, give him a follow, and uh, watch some more videos from another good content creator. So here we go, here is the $100 Torpedo Comics Mystery Box. I think this is the Vault 3.0 box, I think, I'm pretty sure. Which one is it? Is it the Vault? Is this the Invoice? Yeah, this is Torpedo Comics Vault 3.0 Mystery Box. It's 100 bucks, 14 in shipping. Okay, so a $100 box. This is gonna have like, what, five or six books in it. And this is the one where if you have one of the big hits, there will be a photograph, like, like a Polaroid, taped to the inside of your box. And then uh, you contact them, you show them the Polaroid that you got. That's how much you get. If I remember correctly, the big hits in this one was all Hulk 181. I think it was like a grade like a what like a 9.0, 8.0, and a 7.0. I think there's like three of those graded, and those were like the three big hits. Is there three or four of them? It was all Hulk 181s and pretty good, pretty good grades for them. And uh, of course, there was I think another 20 slabbed comics available so if you got any of the slab comics you'll have a photograph taped to the top of the lid 
So you know right off the bat if you got a good box or a bad box. So I'll show you first. Is there a Polaroid? I won't look. Is there a Polaroid? I guess I'm good. Ah, uh, no Polaroid. So that stinks. You automatically know without a Polaroid that you did not get any of the special boxes. So you'll just get uh, pretty much... I've seen it quite a few people open these boxes right on top. You will get an autographed comic. Um, I think this is kind of like a throw-in. Because uh, in the past, they've always wrapped up everything first. And I kind of suspect maybe they realized that maybe the value wasn't good enough. You know, for what you paid. And so they threw in like an extra comic like on top of it. That's kind of like an afterthought, I think. I don't know for sure, though. But that's just kind of what... What I guess, because every other mission box I've ever done, everything has always been packed up. Nothing's been loose. So that's just kind of what it tells me that they added this in later to make it because they just didn't meet the value. But this is Gringo, Grain, Grand Gale Devil's Audience Number no. 1 Torpedo Virgin Variant by Matt Wagner. Okay. I have never read any of these. So first one signed by Matt Wagner says worth about $45. Okay. So that's just what stinks. The Torpedo Comic Mystery Boxes, right off the bat, if you don't have a picture on the top of your box, you already know that you just got a mediocre box that, you know, it'll be all just ho-hum kind of stuff. So that stinks whenever that happens because you, you, you know... I guess honestly what you should do honestly is go ahead open up the whole box and don't look at the lid to the very very end that's actually what i should have done for here on that's what i'll do i'll just pull the comics out and then go back after and then show the lid so the whole time it's a mystery if you because it's kind of like right now i already know this box is kind of going to be you know eh, eh stuff you know that's what i'll do from here on out that's what that's how i'll do it okay so $100 mystery box right here on top. We have Undiscovered Country number one. This looked like some kind of a variant. I'm not too sure. This is probably like a one in 50 or maybe a 100 variant or something like that. That's, that's kind of like what I'm guessing. It says worth about 50 bucks. So at 50 bucks, it's got to be like at least a one in 50 variant, I bet. Oh, cool comic though. I do collect issue number ones of pretty much a lot of comic runs. So. This will fit nicely into my collection. Next one, this cover is awesome. Not 100% sure which one that is. Let's find out. It is Pestilence, a story of Satan number one, May 2018. Mike Ruth Foil variant cover. Okay, very cool cover though. Okay, Aftershock Comics. So it is a number one issue once again, and I collect number ones like I already said, so I will be keeping that one in my collection. Next we have Return of Wolverine number one variant. I have quite a few of this comic, just different covers. I got a bunch of them out of that Spider-Man booth mystery boxes, so I'll add this to my stack because I collect Wolverines. And of course we have another one of the... Wonder Woman number 750, Torpedo Comic Variants. I think they probably had maybe 25 different variant covers for themselves. Pretty much every single mystery box you buy from them, you're, you're going to get a cover of this comic. I think it's like my fourth one now, of different covers from this comic. And they do sell them on their website for $25. That's actually what they sell them for, but they don't actually sell. That's why they're putting them on the mystery box, because nobody's paying 25 bucks for that comic. It's probably worth more like 10 So then we have trade we have the mighty avengers that's cool the ultron initiative that's kind of neat i'll actually flip through that a little bit check that out and then last one we have a hardback we have just league of america riddle of the beast cool cover looking very different so that's what i got in the 100 dollars mystery box was it worth a hundred bucks? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, could I resell everything there for a hundred bucks? No, I couldn't resell everything for a hundred bucks. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you go by the price tags, yeah, it was price tag wise, which is Torpedo Comics price tags, it was worth well over a hundred dollars. But realistic reselling values, you couldn't get anywhere close to a hundred bucks for all these comics. But, uh, 
Let's gamble with mystery boxes. We're buying these mystery boxes because we want that Polaroid picture in here telling us you got a good comic. So without any, any Polaroid, this is the kind of box you're going to get. So, I mean, it's still decent stuff. It's just, uh, these two I will be keeping for my collection for sure. So anyway, that's all I got. But yeah, huge shout out to, to uh, Wink Inc. Uh, he let me pick up some comics from him for an awesome price, so make sure you check out his YouTube channel and subscribe to Wink Inc. because he's doing great things over on his channel. Direct link down below. So I'll see you next time with some more mystery boxes. I'm out.